You're from uh, North Carolina, and apparently you still live there. I don't. You don't? No, I, I, I'm from there. Uh, I live in uh, I live in California now, but I've lived there pretty much my whole life, so I'm still a, still a Southern boy. Wow, and given the opportunity, would you move back? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's my home. You know, I just, a lot of things happened, and I ended up in L.A. for a while, and whether I stay there, who knows. But, uh, but yeah, North Carolina is always home to me, so. How do you, how do you like L.A.? Uh, I just stay in my place. I don't really go out. A lot, of, a lot of creeps out there. It's a creepy oh, town. Oh man, I've got bugs following me here too. I, I, I noticed that. Awesome. I noticed. Yeah, it might be my shirt from last night. Yeah, we just smell really bad flies. <laughs> are you, uh, are you this. wearing the same clothes from the yeah. evening before? Yeah, yeah. that's, that's why you, rock... you were talking about like uh, the home for Wednesday. I'm like, you know what? Like, you know, uh, there's a good ditch over there. <laughs> as long as we are, uh, give me a leather jacket and uh, yeah, yes, lay yeah, lay down. What about you, Joey? Do you uh, still reside in Iowa? Yeah, Des Moines, Iowa. How do you like that? I love it. That's uh, where you, you were born and raised? Yeah, and born and raised. There's a familiarity to it? and Well, it's home and, uh, you know, you live there your whole life. You build, uh, you know, you know your, uh, your profession, you know, from the ground up. In a place like that, which well, no one's ever done with what we've achieved, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm not the LA type, I'm not the New York type, I'm you know, a country guy, so I like, I like to keep it you know, at home. So I still reside there, I'll, ne I'll never move, move anywhere else. Do you, uh, do you have animals out there? Or? Uh, Smokey. Smokey. Smokey! Yeah, my cat Mokey. Yeah, we got him. He's the tour cat, but he's not here because we only have four days. But. Mokey he, was in our Nowhere video too. Yeah, he's in the Nowhere video. If you see him, you know, he's eating his food. And have you always I have had to call him Wednesday and he won't answer me. <laughs> have, have you always had cats? Uh, no. I didn't mean to get him, but uh, went into an animal shelter just looking around just for some fun one day and uh, got him and, you know, that's it. So, Moki. Mo. What Smoky. about you, Wednesday? Are you uh, are you uh, animal, are you pet man? I like to eat them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it tastes I mean, good, right? I'm a good, I'm a big fan of, of animals, food, and uh, but no, I mean, cats and things like that, you know, they're okay. Oh, no pigs like like or lambs or goats? No, uh, well, for food. Oh, there we go. Yeah, strictly for food. I am a strict carnivore. Yeah. You don't really fuck around with like tofu or garden fuck burgers? No. I don't like, know what that is. <laughs> no, no, no bokeh for you guys? Yeah. No. So uh, now I love your new album. It's a great album. Uh, Women and Children, Children Last. Uh, who, who came up with that title? So, I, I, don't, I still really don't know where it came from when we were. No, we were he, he totally know where it came from. Well, I mean, from. where we were, or how it just came about. It was just like one, one night we were deciding on album titles before we even started recording the record. and. We were going to call the album The World According to Revenge, which is the intro on the album, but it just sounded too serious for what we do. And I don't know, I, would, I just wrote down Women and Children Last or something, or I heard Van Halen and I went, right. Women and Children First, Women and Children Last, more like it. And we just started laughing about it and it just became, and we knew immediately that that had to be the title. Because it was it's a great fun, title. tongue in cheek, it fits what we do. And, and it it's a great, some it's a great title. Too. Yeah. Funny because Van Halen's always had tongue in cheek. Title, yeah. not always, but right, a, right. a lot. And women and children first, just like a you know yeah. a polite thing to do as the boat goes down. Or we decided like not to be polite. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck all that. <laughs> so uh, now uh, you've been busy with Wednesday 13 and a, uh, a whole lot of other things. You got a new album coming out this year? I just I've got a remix thing that is just of my old stuff that uh, I'm doing for a, um, just a, it's like five songs on that, but as far as anything with that, we've just been doing Murder Dolls, we've been busting our ass for that for a year, and just, that's pretty much been the priority for, for everything, you know, we've just been non-stop touring since the record came out, and, uh, you know. And Joey, do you have a, are you, uh, got the, the Murder Dolls blinders on for the time being, or are you, uh, you got some the summer? Uh, for the time being, are you, what, do you, you got, you're involved in other things at the moment, or? Well, yeah, I got a, we're finishing these four shows, and then I'm in a rehearsal with Slipknot, and uh, we got uh, all the European festivals uh, this year with Slipknot, and then after that, you know, we go back to the Murder Dolls, and and then uh, party, and then you know, after that, we'll see what happens. But like, uh, I guess the main thing to, to say is, um, you know, no matter like Wednesday 13, what he wants to do, or Gunfire 76, 
Don't worry about that, dude. No, I'm not. I'm People just, can hear me. I have a kink in my, I have a kink in my neck. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't break it. No, no, no. All right, and like, you know, Slipknot, and, you know, with what, whatever happens, we always make time and we always have the right time schedules to make everything happen the way it's supposed to. But yes, I have a, a you know, going back, I mean, I, it's not my main, I mean, it's my main band, but it's not my only priority, sure. is what I'm trying to say. So we got a big tour this summer, huge tour, I cannot wait to do it. And then, you know, we'll return with uh, and continue this album cycle. You know, we're just gonna keep going until uh, until we decide until to do something. stop, and then we won't Hello. stop. And then there's some propane up. over there. There's propane over there. We're gonna give parking. out prizes because they're gonna dumping give a, on us. Yeah, these, these things are dumping on yeah, us. Propane. So there's no smoke. You can't even smoke out here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's that flammable. You're gonna do it till uh, the fucking wheels fall off. Yeah, I would imagine. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. I mean, you guys seem I, like now you want to. I think award. the wheels are gonna fall off our van later. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh yeah, is it? Uh, what, what year is your van? No, we don't know. <laughs> we don't care. We don't know. No, is it comfortable? We, we just got in there real sleepy this Does morning. It we don't smell know. like ass from the van. Yeah, yeah, it will. I'm oh. starting to. It's gonna smell real bad in about a day. <laughs> who's but, uh, uh, who's a stinker out of you two? Out of us two. The bigger stinker. Uh, out of us two. Yeah. I don't know. I, I can. I can. Smell what do you mean by bad. steak? Like fucking ripping it. Like, up. like personality <laughs> or actual smell? Like. Well, let's start with the personalities and then go to smell. That's definitely Wednesday on personality. Yeah. Okay. Smell, yeah. maybe me. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I take more showers than you do. I, nah. this, hey man, I said I throw just, me in a ditch. I don't give a fuck. Uh, yeah, it's it's all relative. Now you won an award yesterday at the Revolver Awards. How'd you that's, know about that? That's uh, you use that internet thing. Yeah, it's still the internet around, apparently. Oh no no no! The I'm internet. too busy downloading to uh, <laughs> use the internet. Uh, but you won an award. It was uh, the comeback of the of the year award, right? Yes. And uh, that Revolver thing is is it's it's not a it's not a scam. Those are actual humans that vote. No, for it, was that a, it thing, was a great right? thing. It was uh it was it was an online voting thing where. Fans actually had to make their voices count and the votes and things like that. So, uh, and then we were in, I guess, you know, Faith No More and System of Down and Soundgarden, these legendary bands that, you know, and our fans voted for us. And we somehow, it was a complete shock to us. And, you know, we honestly, we didn't have any idea. We, we knew we were going up to introduce the Alice Cooper band. And the guy goes, Oh, well, you're going up to get your award. I went, What award? <laughs> oh, so it was we, a surprise. we found out as we were. You know, about to go up and introduce Alice, that we're getting an award. We're like, okay, so it was kind of better that way because we didn't, we didn't expect it. We just kind of went out, which know. is good because you know, if we would have known, it would have, you know, we'd be like, okay, we need to say this or that. We just went up and we were just, just like, oh man, this is this is great. What you know, this is a great uh, honor, you know, to uh, just, you know, get achieve, amongst yeah, yeah, bands, yeah, you know, oh, you know really achieve cool. this award. And the thing is, we just went up and I don't even remember what the hell we said. I don't either. I, I will watch it. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and that's what's the funny thing about it. It's yeah. like we just went up and we're ourselves, you know, just like the the representation of what women show in the last is, and even the, beyond the ballet and the murder dolls. Yeah, it's the same thing. So, that's but, but cool. thank you so to you all the fans. To... Yeah, the fans. You guys made us that that award. That's awesome. So thank you, thank you. You didn't have to go up there and play the part because I know, from what I understand, a lot of award shows, uh, the winners already know prior right. to the show themselves. Right. They come up there. Oh, thank God or whatever. Yeah. You, know, you guys are. That's no, awesome. we found we out had actually, no clue. Yeah. and it was a uh, and, and David Coverdale, the White Snake, presented it to us. Yeah, how cool was that? Man. That was pretty cool to hear. Slipping slide, Murdered. slipping in. Yeah, man, that's, cool. that's awesome. Now I know you're crew fans, and uh, I know on the Wednesday I've read that you read the Dirt a few times. Several times. Is that's, there, just, that's just because I'm too stupid to remember it. Uh, my brain's fucked. No, I understand. But, I have a very short term. Yes. Um, whatever I was talking about, thinking about, but. Uh, is there a lot of the Murder Dolls and Slipknot and, and uh, all your bands in that book? Can what do you, you mean? Do you like, read that book and go, oh, I've done that, or oh, yeah. this is like, I, I, I think I've been there. I can say this. When I read that book, it was before I started touring you know, professionally and doing this whole thing, and I read it, I was like, wow, this just seems insane that this could happen. And then going on tour and doing the things that we've done over the past year, I look at that book now and go, it's still a good book, but our, our book, some of the things we've done and, and seen is just, it, it definitely rivals some of the stories in that book, in that book for, for sure. And uh, that's so why we, we can't put a book out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so we can't expect a book from y'all yeah. anytime. No, yeah, you will. Eventually. Yeah, it'll come yeah. you'll definitely get one. Yeah, it'll be a box set of books. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the Borders book yeah. tour. Every day is another chapter in the book. It's ridiculous. We just got a chance to see the Meat Man. I don't know if you're familiar oh, with yeah. the Meat Man. And they they were just, the Meat Man, uh, you suck. Tesco V has uh, just put out a book. It's uh, it's uh, Touch and Go magazine. It's compiled oh, yeah. all the magazines into a book, mm -hmm. and he's doing a book tour, and he's on tour. 
with the meat man. It's you know, nice. it's a different avenue. That right. border is being nice and polite in the daytime, and at nighttime he's just telling people that cripples suck and, and all that wonderful stuff that it takes to be a meat man. <laughs> right. Uh, you're big horror movie fans. Is there any new horror movies or or production companies that you would recommend? Uh, you know, honestly, I mean, yeah. I really haven't been into any of the new horror stuff lately. I mean, I mean, they just watch all the old stuff and just keep watching that. I mean, if anything new I've seen, I mean, you know, I see some of the remakes and stuff, just so I got to see what they're like. And uh, probably the last good horror movie I saw was The Strangers. I thought that was a really cool just twist on that. It just was something different I'd never seen before, so that was a cool movie. What about you, Joey? Are you uh, are you a movie buff at all? You... Absolutely. That's um, that's pretty much all I do. I, I, you know, when I'm at home, is all I do is watch movies. So, as far as horror films, I'm still you know, you know, pretty keen to just the old stuff. You know, that I grew up on that really uh, gave me nightmares and actually inspired like a lot of pretty. Much, I mean, a lot of like how I construct music like from a, a, an early childhood and everything. Um, from all the projects that I've been in, I've been very inspired by a lot of horror movies. So I'm, I'm still like I'm still in the '70s and the early '80s. So yes. as far as like new stuff, I have a very hard time bringing myself to go watch anything like that. Not that any of it's bad, but I'm just like the stuff that changed me as far as a person. And you know, sitting here talking to you right now, I'm always like, you know. I always watch the same stuff over and over, and, over, and, and it never yeah. gets old. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, so that's awesome. And then uh, now uh, Mick Mars played on the record on the new one. Yes. Was that a trip uh, nah. in the studio with Mick that was, Mars? That was awesome, man. It, it was he's like one of the great. I, for me, he's always been one of the greatest hard rock and heavy metal well, guitar that's why, players you know, of all time. When it got mentioned, it wasn't a planned thing. We didn't go in. Oh, we want these special guests on the record. It was a conversation. We just we were having dinner and and. We were talking about a solo for the song Drug Me to Hell, and I was like, I just said to him, I was like, you know, this has a Mick Mars kind of vibe to it. I hear in my head, like the solo wise, and, and our, our manager, um, our tour manager, Mad Manager, was like, why don't you call up Mick? He's a good friend of mine, see if he wants to play on it. And he called him up, and he was there in two days and came in the studio, and just, you know, we just hung out. It's just like we we're like in the same band for a few hours, you know, it wasn't like, oh, is this Mick Mars and Molly? It was at first. We we're like, but he was nervous around us too, and then once we kind of started telling some jokes and broke the ice, everything was cool, and we're like, we're just in a band for a few hours. So it was really cool to, and an honor to have that guy play on, on these songs and stuff that we wrote. So, uh, you know, because he's one of the villains of rock, and never one really paid their dues to that guy. And, uh, you know, he's one of the reasons I have black hair, and just, you know, he was the weirdo. He was the cousin of that band. Yeah, he's the same reason I have black hair too. Yeah. <laughs> or have black, have black hair at one point. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, Kine, now uh, just a couple more questions. I know you're really busy. Uh, the limited edition came with a first aid kit, a t-shirt, and a pill bottle. Yes. Do you, did you guys have much input into that yeah. limited edition? That was a bunch of ideas. I think we just wrote down. The yeah, stuff. I mean, it's like off the top of the head. Like the thing is, like when we don't think about stuff too much, and the first thing that comes to our head, a lot of, like our songs, like there's the idea, and then it's like once it comes out, it's like. Man, we didn't know it was that good. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, let's do a pill bottle. Like, we in that just box. don't get this. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. Well, we just don't. Hand grenade in there. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what else can what, what can we get away with? What yeah, can we put in yeah. that box? Yeah, it's just sure? like, like yeah. pushing the envelope over and over. It's like you can't fold it up. Like, here you go, here you go, here you go. What? Did we think of that? Like, <laughs> it comes back. I'm like, I was just listening to Hell Good by Die today. Uh huh. I was like, let's open with that. <laughs> we haven't <laughs> played that stuff. I know, we never played it. Besides <laughs> in the studio. Besides in the studio. Wow. Uh, where did you guys find Roman and Jack? What's that? Roman and Jack? Are they uh, in, they're st uh, are they still right, in the band? Right, Roman and Jack, yes. Oh, uh, Roman and Jack. Yeah, they're uh, they're just two of our other idiots we hang out with. We're all idiots, and uh, you know, we just but they're also our, <laughs> our best friends. We're just we're all a bunch of idiots, and you know, we just have a blast when we go on tour, man. It's just like it's a nonstop like comedy show with us. I mean, Roman's like the master of voices. He's constantly having us <laughs> cracking up, laughing nonstop. The Sling Blade one he did today. Yeah, was the Sling Blade. He's always quote Sling Blade or making up new voices. Of, uh, oh, that's awesome. Carl to do, you know, Carl in different situations, and you know, and uh, and Jack, you know, he's our, he's our bass player. He's the quiet guy. You know, he's you know he's the one that's got to deal with all of our crazy asses. He's the quiet, yeah. calm guy. We can't have five loose cannons. No, no, no. So, you gotta have at least one yeah, of each, right? Yeah. Just to make uh, <laughs> the nucleus. Guy. He's got to deal with it. Yeah, but he never bitches, which is cool. No, about him. Yeah. And he's a great bass player, and he's solid and. Good guy. Yeah. What yeah. well, more can you ask for? Uh, now Japan was canceled. Obviously, because it shook. Yeah. The ground shook. You were supposed to go over there with a 
the Black Veil Brides, who probably are big influence influenced by you guys, yeah. I'm sure. Um, they're a pretty rockin' band, we, I must say so myself. We, we were in Japan when, when they, that happened, and we had a couple shows with those guys, and we, we got to play one show before the big earthquake hit. Oh, and, wow. uh, so we did get to play one show in Tokyo, and, uh, and after it hit, it was just, you know, complete pandemonium in that place, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we had to stay there for 48 hours before we get a flight out, and it was just, it was just terrifying. It was sad, too, because it's like, for me, that's that's one of my, it is my favorite place to tour, you know, and it, it just got destroyed, and, and you know, yeah. it's like, it's just so sad to see all those people and all our friends and fans, and it's just, just that, that place did not deserve that, you know, and uh, sure. it was it was a terrifying thing, and it's still, it's still in my head, I mean, I still get flashbacks from, I still, when stuff shakes, I, I think there's an earthquake, right. you know, like under these trains coming by here, I, when we first got here, I went, fuck, is there an earthquake, you know, it's just like, that's in my head, and we all talk about it, it's like right. everybody still has that, you know, because it was, that was an intense thing. We didn't think we were getting out of there. No doubt. Yeah, I was in San Francisco, Frisco, yeah. um, when the, the Loma Prieta earthquake was. And at first I thought, whoa, this is cool. And then, <gasps> yeah. And the, as in the warehouse, the big old giant beams are just like, they're like jelly. Yeah. And, That's uh, the way it looked. And, scary you know, shit. It was, it, was, it was super scary. And we're just, we're really kind of a. Uh, North Carolina, they what kind of disasters do you have there? Is yeah, it fires well, or they just had a, 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 like ninety six tornadoes hit uh, Sunday. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, but yeah. nothing hit my uh, but nothing hit my 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 family or people where I was at. So that was I was really fortunate on that. But you know it destroyed a lot of things. So I don't know, man. Well, Iowa the same shit. thing. What? Tornadoes and twisters and yeah, not, same thing in Iowa. Uh, you had a lot of snow. Oh my God. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know it. Yeah, I mean. It's like the thing with Iowa is like we have all the tornadoes, we have the worst summers, the worst winters, but we had the most beautiful springs and the most beautiful falls. Those are my favorite times in Iowa. So we have all the seasons, but you know we have two of the seasons that really kick our ass. You know, so it was cold know. as hell there. Oh, you cold. couldn't even believe how cold it was. <laughs> It's like negative 60 going yeah, to practice. It, I, yeah, we, have, we were like, all right, what, what's the weather for tomorrow? Negative five. <laughs> okay. That's not including wind chill though. <laughs> yeah. It's like negative 60 that one time we went to practice. <laughs> Remember that time that, that we're crazy. like, and we're, we're sitting there like, <laughs> and it came up and you're like, dude, are you serious? And I'm like, I'm grabbing the keys. I'm like, let's go. And you're like, I don't think so. You know, they're all watching the news. They're all, all right. paranoid. And I'm like, hey man, I drive in this stuff all the time. Don't worry about it.